What's up, YouTube? Yo, back at it again, man. Yes, sir. Here with your boy Gilly I'm Marciano, and you here with React And today, we got another top 10 for y'all, man. Got a whole top 10 playlist, so go check that shit out, man. It's pretty good. But, we should not do all that. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. Yes, sir. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe, and we really appreciate it. But we ain't gonna hold y'all up no longer. The top 10 we got for y'all today is top 10 guilty convicts reaction to a life sentence. Guilty convicts reaction. So these niggas got an ex surprise. <laughs> but that's my thing. Like, what? What do you expect somebody? Yeah, reaction? I think I killed him. <laughs> like what? And then you know you getting a life sentence. So it's not. A, you should know what. You should know what's coming. There ain't no real reaction to me. Oh, but. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. We gonna hop right into that. Hope y'all enjoy. I have. I have absolutely don't know nothing about. And they frame me. They frame me. This man freaked out after getting sentenced to capital punishment. Welcome back, Charlie here. Some criminals do such evil things that even life behind bars isn't enough punishment. You're about to see some inmates who were put on death row for their crimes, and their wild reactions in the courtroom. First, we have to look at Markeith Lloyd. This wild-eyed man committed various evil crimes. The first was ending the life of his ex-girlfriend, Sade Dixon. Sade got pregnant by Lloyd, but she said she didn't want to have the child. Markeith went to her house to try and talk her into keeping the baby. But during the argument, Lloyd got very aggressive. Sade then pulled a gun on Lloyd. But that's when Lloyd took the gun and shot Sade, ending her life, and the life of their unborn child. Police then announced a manhunt for Markeith Lloyd. They put his image on flyers and on TV. Eventually, a shopper recognized him in Walmart and called the cops. Police Lieutenant Deborah Clayton arrived on the scene. She tried to arrest Lloyd outside the Walmart, but Lloyd then shot her four times, ending Lieutenant Clayton's life. Lloyd then went on the run, but was eventually found by police and was arrested. During the arrest, he lost an eye. He was taken to court where an entire jury found him guilty. He was then given the most serious punishment. That is, of course, the death sentence. When Markeith Lloyd heard this, he freaked out. He began shouting that he'd been framed, and that the cops had been trying to kill him even though Markeith had ended three lives. Right? Moving on, we have to look at Austin Myers and Timothy Mosley. These two teenagers may look innocent, but they're actually cold-blooded killers. They took the life of 18-year-old Justin back. They had been friends with Justin since high school, but Austin Myers wanted money, so he decided to rob Justin and convinced his friend Timothy Mosley to come along. They knew that Justin's family had a safe in their house. What they didn't know was the safe only contained $70. Austin and Timothy began planning the robbery. That's when Austin suggested they should kill Justin. They decided to use a steel wire to do this. That's because it would create little to no mess. Their plan had three steps. Number one, kill Justin steal the safe. And number three, hide Justin's body. That way Justin's parents would think he took the safe and ran away. So on January 28th, 2014, the pair went to Justin's house. When Justin answered the door, they tried to strangle him using the wire, but Justin fought back. So instead, they stabbed him 21 times. They then stole the safe and ran away. The pair were soon apprehended by cops. Timothy Mosley entered a plea deal in exchange for life behind bars. While the ringleader, Austin Myers, was sentenced to death. At only 19, he was the youngest person ever sentenced to death in Ohio. Moving along, we have to look at Michael Brady. Michael Brady had been serving a life sentence in a prison in North Carolina. This was for shooting a highway patrolman named Michael Parts. In prison, Michael worked in the sewing plant. That's when he came up with a plan to escape. Him and three other inmates hatched the plan. They used a hammer to kill two prison guards, but their escape didn't go to plan. They failed to cross the tall prison fence, and were arrested almost immediately. In Michael's trial, he showed no remorse. For his crime, he was given the death penalty. But it really seems like Michael doesn't value human life, not even his own. 
When the verdict was read out, he remained totally cold and emotionless. Very creepy, if you ask me. Now we have to look at Colton Harris Moore. This is the FBI's most wanted 16 year old. Colton Harris Moore from Washington, USA, is better known as the Barefoot Bandit. That's because he committed many of his crimes barefoot, and once even left behind chalk footprints and the word see ya. He is responsible for around 100 thefts in Washington, Idaho, and Canada. He would mainly steal vehicles including bicycles, cars, airplanes, and speedboats. He even stole one $600,000 plane, crash landing it in a swamp in the Bahamas. He would live in the woods as a survivalist, often breaking into homes simply to steal food or take a bath. Eventually, Colton was captured and taken to jail. He could have faced life in prison. Colton pled guilty and was sentenced to just six and a half years. Now we have to look at Eileen Warrenos. Eileen Warrenos is nicknamed the female Hannibal Lecter. Many call her the scariest female serial killer of all time. She was so evil, she was given the death sentence. In the 1970s, she took seven people's lives. She would take these men's lives using a firearm and would then dispose of their bodies in swamps. She would also steal their belongings and sell them in pawn shops, which is eventually how she was called. Eileen said she took all of these lives in self-defense, but she was found guilty for taking these seven men's lives. She had many outbursts in court, including shouting at and flipping off the judge. Maybe that was why she was given the death sentence. In 2002, Eileen was taken out by lethal injection. To this day, she is said to be one of the scariest women to ever live. Next, we have to look at Nico Jenkins. Nico Jenkins is one of America's most feared criminals. Nico has been a criminal since a very young age. He used to rob people and break into cars. But in 2013, he took things to a whole other level. He went on a killing spree, taking four lives in 10 days, even ending one of his victims' lives in front of their own child. On the 10th day of his killing spree, Nico was finally arrested. Cops were confused as it seemed like he had no motive. They thought he'd taken these people's lives randomly. That was until Nico came clean in an eight hour interview. Nico said he'd taken these people's lives as a sacrifice, a sacrifice to the Egyptian god Apophis. Nico was sentenced to 400 50 years in prison, but this was later upgraded to capital punishment. He freaked out in court many times, yelling at the judge, jury, and cops. But in his interview and in court, it seemed like he had zero remorse. Now we have to look at Martez Abram. In 2019, Martez was working at a Walmart in Mississippi. That's when he threatened his co-worker with a knife. For this, he was understandably fired, but this enraged Martez. He came to the Walmart with a gun and took two people's lives. He also shot a cop who survived and tried to set the Walmart on fire. He was arrested and taken to court. The weird thing is before this, he was totally normal and mild mannered. During the trial, Martez was shown footage of his crime. That's when he got emotional and began crying. Martez was found guilty and was given the death sentence. Surprisingly, he didn't react at all when he was given the news. Now we have to look at this very scary criminal. This is Caius Veovis. It may surprise you to hear this because he looks so normal, but this man is a blood drinking Satan worshiper. He had surgery to create horns on his head and had the number of the devil 666 tattooed on his forehead. He was part of a gang and was arrested for kidnapping three people and taking their lives. His three victims were all members of the Hells Angels motorcycle gang. When his mugshot went viral, many compared him to the Star Trek character, Ghoul Dukat. Prosecutors wanted the death sentence, but in the end, Cayus was sentenced to five consecutive life sentences, meaning this very scary guy will be in prison for the rest of his life. Finally, let's look at Tiffany Moss. This woman took the life of her eight-year-old stepdaughter. The the scary thing is, she was a preschool teacher at the time. Oh. Tiffany married a man who had a child from a previous marriage. The child was named Amani. For some reason, Tiffany hated Amani. She would harm Amani a lot. Tiffany would not give Amani enough food. She was very malnourished. And one day, Tiffany actually ended Amani's life. In court, Tiffany could be seen laughing 
clearly showing zero remorse. Eventually, Tiffany was sentenced to capital punishment. This was after the judge realized she would never change her ways. Tiffany is currently the only woman on death row in Georgia. Maybe she won't be laughing so much now that she's on death row. But now it's time for you to make your voice heard. Comment below which of these people was the most scary. I've been Charlie, thanks for watching. If you want to see my short videos, check out my second channel. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, then- Oh man, which one of them niggas the scariest? Probably the nigga with the, with the, uh, the sacrifices, because that's completely random. I don't, uh, the other ones, the other ones seem kind of all provoked by something, and then, and then the murders happen, so. These people are obviously crazy, yeah. but it was all provoked by his. A ghost told him, sacrifice some people, we need them. So that could have happened any time. He was already breaking the people's shit, so he was still in shit for his God already. <laughs> I don't know, what the fuck, that nigga's crazy. That nigga's insane. <laughs> that nigga's crazy, but... This nigga crazy eyes, though. This nigga killed three people. <laughs> Until he was framed. I was framed? He thought he was ghost? <laughs> And he was framed three times? First of all, the the, the, the the girlfriend that you killed was pregnant. Yeah. That's the first one that's already like, okay, if somebody framed you for that, then you already gonna have trouble. But then they go to get you and you do it again. So how the okay, now they did it twice. That nigga's insane. They, they framed you twice? That's crazy. But took that nigga eye out doing the arrest. <laughs> but so bad, I'm just I'm just assuming imagine what he was doing during the arrest. <laughs> to lose an eye and still be fighting. That is crazy. That, that nigga is insane. And then, to, but to be honest, the last lady to me is the worst because she killed the kid, seemed like for no reason. I mean, well, I'm gonna say for no reason, I'm gonna say out of jealousy. That's usually what it is. He got a kid from a previous marriage and you uh, you just, you know, just feels the type of way. But that's a shitty way to take out the kid. Yeah. Why didn't he kill the husband? That's what you, you're not the kid. The kid, I guess, that ain't, well, that's fucked up. You know what I mean? So I'm glad they got her up out of here. But they said she, and then she, she's the only woman on death row right now in what they say, Mississippi? In Georgia. In Georgia, yeah. yeah. In Georgia. Like, damn. Get that bitch out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Put up with the fellas. <laughs> <laughs> On death row, bitch. That is yeah. crazy. Like the nigga that, that robbed the other nigga for the $70 in the safe. Why would you them. think that her son gonna take this safe? You know he probably knows only seventy dollars in there. He like this, yeah. this is stupid. And, and my thing is, this is this is y'all homie. If y'all need money, if y'all need money, why would you rob him? The whole him. family know you. He know you. They try to take me out with piano. Why like this? Austin Powers. What? <laughs> like, like, <laughs> Hitman Forty Seven. What the fuck is you doing? What is you doing? That's the only time I seen the wire kill work. Just they just open the door. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> Let me get your hands off me. So, like y'all do, he's probably stuck his ass. Like, pow! He's like, oh, stab, stab. He's, I was, I was pushing up, dude, trying to get me with a wire. <laughs> from the front, from the front. That means you have to wrap it around him. And man, get your hands off me! This nigga dumb. <laughs> this nigga stupid. This is not even sneaky. It's not even sneaky. Bro, that nigga is stupid. Yeah, and then like I said, like you said, if they did get away with it, seventy dollars. Seventy dollars. And do you even know the code to the safe? Huh? You just gonna break it open? Like, what was you planning what, what, on doing? C four? Is this a cartoon? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go rap. See, I don't know what the plan was. Bro, this is ridiculous. That was yeah. That's the most. That's the most dumbest one. Was that because they 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 didn't really have a plan. But appreciate y'all sitting through this, man. Hopefully, y'all had a good time. And if you did, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe. Yes, sir. Go ahead and hit that like, subscribe. And we really appreciate it. But until next time, we see y'all later. Peace.